Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Look at this kitchen. I wish this was my home, but no, it's not. Don't worry, I've not moved house, but basically I have been filming a whole new set of videos with Drinks Tube. Some of you guys know about this, I already told you in a few videos ago, but if you don't, I am doing the most exciting tea videos, literally dream come true with Drinks Tube. So go over and subscribe to their channel right now because it's just me getting excited about tea and loads of other drinks videos as well. So I'm gonna put their channel below, their Instagram below and Twitter below you know how obsessed with tea I am so I wanted to do this video to kind of give you a little bit of an overview of tea how you guys can join in when you're watching all my tea videos you can be sat at home drinking your own cuppa so this is a bit of a guide to tea from me you'll know I'm in my element I've wanted to do this for so long so I'm like inside celebrating so First of all, black tea, which I feel like I always talk about to you guys anyway, but I want to show you ones with a bit of a difference. First of all, chai tea. How much do I talk about this, guys? All the time. Like, all the time. So, chai tea is basically a black tea, but flavoured with spices. It's so, so good. And this is loose leaf tea. So, I would say the best way to enjoy tea, if you can get hold of it, is loose leaf tea. I'm going to show you how you use that in a second. Then, going on to another one, brioche tea. So, Fleur and I raved about this all the time. We actually got this in America. I didn't used to like American tea because I thought it was really weak. And then I went somewhere called the American Tea Room and picked up this brioche tea. It literally tastes like a patisserie placed in a bag. It's so amazing. And look at this, fresh almonds, absolutely amazing. Okay, moving on, a little bit more exotic. When I say exotic, it's not really actually, it's just smoked. This is another black tea called China Caravan basically this will divide you guys so it's a smoked tea and usually if you go into a tea shop you'll find one called Lapsang Sushan or Russian Caravan well I found a little twist in a really small tea room and this one is called China Caravan so basically it tastes like smoky bacon you might not like it but I am obsessed with it all of these back teas as well you can add milk in and don't be afraid to go into really small tea shops so most of my Instagram and Twitter is me sat in a tea shop and I find some of my best teas in tea shops. I sit there and they often sell their own teas. So don't be afraid to pick up one from there and that's when I got this from. Oh my goodness, again, I've talked about this so many times. This is actually a green tea. I actually don't usually like green tea, so I find it quite boring. And I know that's really horrible to say, sorry if you like green tea, but this is amazing. When I say amazing, you, you are literally gonna love this so much. This is salted caramel, it's actually a Twinings tea. The quality of Twinings tea is so good. So even though this is bag tea, I love drinking their tea anyway, so I know it's gonna be tasty. It's the best thing to drink at Christmas, but I'm obsessed with this. This is about my fifth box. Um, another green tea, which I'm obsessed with again, this is popcorn tea. Like going to the cinema, but at home. And this is actually Tea Pigs. Again, a brand that I love. I've talked about this so much. Tea Pigs is a little bit different because you've got loose leaf tea, but in a tea bag. So if you want to drink tea and really easily get that loose leaf tea, then this is the best way to have it, I think. And they're really affordable as well. So basically this is green tea and roasted rice. I wish you guys could smell this stuff because it's just so good. And then last but not least for any of you that don't want to have caffeine, I know lots of you always tweet me and ask me this question, what is the best caffeine free tea? This is really hard for me to decide, but I've chosen a Roy Boss one, which is basically Red Bush. And I've actually gone for one with a bit of a twist. This is vanilla. So it's basically not actually a tea, it's a herbal tea. You can add milk to it if you want to. I love this one, it tastes really kind of mellow and light and it's not gonna keep you awake at night. Okay, now to actually make the tea. Again, this is a hard choice for me because you know I have so many crazy teapots, but you already see that in my house anyway. So I've picked this teapot out for you, which is gonna be so easy to make loose leaf tea. This is actually from Lakeland and my sister got this for me for Christmas. I didn't have one. It's basically a teapot but with a strainer. So when you open it up, you literally just put the loose leaf tea in there and then you infuse the tea. So it's really, really easy to make. If you want to do it in a more traditional sense, I picked out three strainers for you, which are gonna help you use all of these teas. Obviously you don't need it with the bags. First of all, my favorite, Mr. Tea. The man in my life, I love him so much, and he's just amazing, the perfect man, really. 
you fill his trousers up with tea and it's amazing. And then the other way to do it, if you're just having a mug of tea, is this little like clip one. So basically you put a little bit of loose leaf tea in, put it in your mug. Third way, if you've got friends over, sometimes I have visitors, sometimes. Um, then I'm going to use this straight. I actually picked this up from a vintage fair. I love anything vintage when it comes to tea. And you put this over the teacup, which I'm going to show you in a second. And then onto my teacup. So two things that I would say for teacups. First of all, use bone china if you can, because it makes the tea taste so much better. Don't use plastic or metal. It's so worth going to invest in a teacup. So two options I have for you. The first one, Royal Albert. I am obsessed with this company for China. I talk about it all the time and they do the most beautiful teacups. My mum actually bought me this one for Christmas and I have their cake stands, their teapots. I love them so much. They are quite expensive, but they're so worth it. The second option, get yourself down to a car boot sale or a charity shop. I think this one was about 50p and I probably got four of them. This says made in England on the bottom and you know if it says that it's a good cup. Not just because it says made in England, but genuinely. It's good china. Um, and yeah, I picked this up for like 50p from a car boot sale. So enjoy your tea in a cup. You've got your teapots and you've got your tea. So that is kind of my overview of tea. So many of you have been asking me to do more tea videos. So give this video a massive thumbs up if you've liked it. And then I'm going to be doing loads more as well. And comment below, tell me what is your favorite tea? Or if you want to see me do another tea video, what would you like to see me do? Making tea, whatever it is, comment below and just let me know what you want me to do. Don't forget, go and subscribe to JinxTube and you're going to be able to see all of those tea videos and also so many yummy drinks. They are literally so good. And make sure you follow them on Twitter and Instagram. Go show them so much love. Send them a selfie of you drinking a cup of tea. So go on Twitter, tell them that I sent you there and go on Instagram as well and upload your selfie and just give them a bit of tea love so that I can keep making loads of tea videos. So I'm going to link all their stuff below. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Remember to give it a massive thumbs up and I cannot wait for you to see the tea videos that I've done in this amazing kitchen. I literally want to steal this kitchen. Bye, guys. So, guys, I um, usually ski down a slope, but this one is... Oh my goodness, I'm actually getting a bit fear holding this over because it's so steep. It's called the Switch.